Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play the rounding version of Scruffy's Escape. When you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. You click this button here, it will show you the high scores. You can use the up and down little buttons here to scroll through uh, high scores. And hopefully you'll see your name up there. Let's go ahead and click Close. This button will toggle the sound on and off. The question mark here shows you the written instruction. I'm going to go over that, but I'd like to point out that you can use the WASD keys as well as the arrow keys to move Scruffy. And a little tip here says keep the mouse handy to answer the bonus questions. And those will show up periodically through the game. They're math related questions that uh, you'll have to answer in a very short time, and you'll have to click on the one of the uh, multiple choice answers and if you get it right you get a power up and if you miss it you just keep playing the game and you don't get your power up. The video overview will take you to this video. X goes ahead and closes that out. Let's go ahead and click the play button. And once I do that you have the sub menu up here and none of these bu buttons function and if I want to go back to the main menu just click X and that will take me back here. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the sub menu here. Now when you first start the game you'll only be able to play the first level. You won't have any stars here. You'll just have the uh, gray bar. And the second level will be X'd out. Third level will be X'd out, as this one is. But I've played uh, through the first level. I got three stars. Played through the second level, got three stars. And I haven't completed the third level. And the way I know that is because the fourth level is X is unavailable for me to play. Once I complete this level, then the next level will be available for me to play. Let's go ahead and look at the first level. And I'll show you how to play. Click this button here. We'll take you to the game. And uh, it'll just telling you that you need to either tap or click go. And this is available for an app, so uh, it's just available also in the app store, so you can get it there, and that's why that's what the reference to tap is. Let's go ahead and click go. Now I can use in, in addition to the WASD keys and the arrow keys that we talked about earlier, I can use the keys here to move Scruffy. And the reason I do use this is because when the bonus questions come up, you have a very short time to answer the questions. And I like to keep the mouse handy, and, and using the arrows here, I always ha have the mouse close to where the questions come up, because the questions will come up down here. Now, to uh, complete the level, you have to get Scruffy to get both of the dog bones here and the one you need to get is uh, indicated up here and it's saying round to the nearest tenth 27 so 27 rounds to 30 and if I go the other way and a lot of times I like to do that because um, if you get all the tennis balls the way you get three stars is getting all the tennis balls in the level so if I go through and get most of them then I can go ahead and once I get 30, the uh, next question comes up, and I'm supposed to see what get the bone that rounds to f at 46 rounds, and that, that, of course, is 50. And now I've gotten all the tennis balls. My score is 39, and I've got all the since I've got all the tennis balls, I'll get a three get three stars on this level. Now this is my score. This is the amount of lives I have. I have three lives, and you can't lose a life on the first level because there's no dog catchers, but later on, um, and you'll see that in a minute, you could lose lives. Let's go ahead and pick up the last one, and you'll see that the level's over, and I got my three stars. Now, the high score really only pertains, I mean, I, I should say the lives only pertain really to the high score uh, because you can always go back and start a level over again but when, but when you lose three lives the score back goes back to zero and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute because I'll let you actually I'm going to go ahead and let you see what it looks like when I lose all my lives so lost that life and you notice I get the tennis ball as the score goes up you can see it's 71 and it's going up to 76 up, up there and this will be the, my last life and the dog catcher caught me, and I can enter my high score. But to replay the level, I just go back and hit play and get back to where I was at. So I'm now looking for the number at 35 rounds to, 
And that rounds to 40, so let's go ahead and pick that up over here. Now I'm looking to see what 16 rounds to 20. Go ahead and pick that up, and I'll let you I'll go ahead and complete this level. I need to go down here so that you can see what it looks like on the third level with two dog catchers. We try to get all the tennis rack uh, balls and complete that level with three stars. Now this level has two dog catchers. I need to hit. It's a little bit more difficult. There's uh, how many feet in a yard? Three feet in a yard. I got that. Double points is the bonus I got. And now the power up is uh, went away. It just lasts for a short time. Need to get 30 over here. And let's try to get 26. I'll leave two tennis balls just to show. I'll probably get two stars on this level. Yep, two stars. So, actually I'm playing the next level. Um, if I want to exit out, I can just hit the pause button here and I can either resume play X and go back into the fourth level I was at. And you can also toggle the sound on and off. Well, that's how you play the game. There's also an inter integer version available with positive and negative numbers. I hope you enjoy playing the game. I hope this video has helped some, and thanks for watching.